on. This is an amazing experience. Um, for those of you that were here, I don't know, three or four weeks ago, um, I myself got baptized, and then I got the, the honor of baptizing my, my daughter. And tonight, I, will, I get a, a, another honor to, to, uh, to baptize one of the most important people in my life, uh, one of my best friends in the whole world, and the mother of my beautiful daughter, Rosalie. Uh, this is Deborah Church. Um, Deborah and I are kind of coming in our own right now. Um, a lot of things have happened in our life. Um, well, the birth of our daughter was a big one, uh, obviously. Um, but it, it really has put things in perspective for us. Um, you know, we, we've, like any other couple, have gone through some, some hurtful times, but some great times as well. But I think, I think what has really drawn us together is our our connection with with God to be honest with you <laughs> that's I that is it um, and <clears throat> now that this has happened you know we're, we're growing every day and um, my my prayer is that we'll continue to grow together and and um, with this church family whom we're very blessed to now be a part of um, so Deborah kind of she she saw me get baptized and we did some talking and she um, I think she did a lot of praying and uh, a lot of tears <laughs> and she come to a realization that um, it, it's time it's time in in her life uh, to give her life to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. did a bit. <laughs> Thank you, Moses. Oh my goodness. Church, if if you would, uh, can we pray? Father Jesus, uh, there are no words to describe this this journey that you have brought me and Deborah on with our wonderful children, with our daughter Rosalie, and with each other. And Lord, I, I'm so thankful that we have found this church family and that, that Deborah has found you again. Um, <clears throat> my prayer, Lord, is that from this moment on, that Deborah is gonna immerse herself in the glory and, and the wonder that is you and live her life for you, with you, about you. And that that would transcend into our children and everyone in this church family. And that she would grow and mature, Lord Jesus. That she'd grow and, and find that, that, that peace and that fire that you promised to your believers. Lord God, I, I can only hope that the future together with her and with our family is one filled with with you and you as our priority and ours and and you being the center of everything we do and that we would grow together and our children would raise up in the ways of you Lord Father God thank you for this moment and Lord I just ask that you send your spirit to Deborah let her be, be filled with, with your spirit. Lord Jesus, let, let her burn for you in all she does. From this moment on, Lord Jesus, we ask this in your precious name. Deborah, who is your Lord and Savior? Jesus Christ. With that confession, with all the angels in heaven singing right now. <laughs> I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit.
say hello to Travis. share with these folks tonight? Awesome. Uh, Travis came in tonight, and uh, I don't know what happened. This is a God thing. He's like, I need to get baptized. Like, he doesn't come to this church. He just, he just walked in, right? <laughs> He said that he, he had been baptized years ago, but he had fallen so far. And, in, and I don't know what happened when he walked in the building, but he, God's Spirit is upon him, and he's like, I, wanna, I, I don't want to live like that anymore. I want to live for the Lord. And Jesus, I want Jesus to be my Lord and Savior. I want him to be my Lord. I want him to, he shared with me in the office, he wants Jesus to be able to tell him, do this and don't do that, and he would obey that. And so... Uh, he wants to be baptized. I, pray, I would ask that you would pray with me right now for Travis, please. Father God, I thank you for this divine moment. I thank you, Lord, from the bottom of my heart, and I think I speak for all of us in the Revolution family, that you have chosen this church to allow this to happen. I thank you, Lord, that your Holy Spirit is present here tonight. It is obvious. There's evidence in the room right here, right now, that you are with us. And so, Lord, I thank you for that. I thank you for the work you're doing in Travis's heart. And, Lord, I pray that you would use him for great things to advance your kingdom. Bless him with a greater understanding and knowledge of who you are and who he is in you. Bless him and his children in Jesus' good name. Now, Travis, who is your one and only Lord and Savior? Jesus Christ. Based on that confession, I now bury you with Christ. And like him, you'll be raised to new life because you trusted in the mighty power of God that raised Christ from the dead. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah.